Okay, go right ahead. Start by telling me the name of the police department and then tell me what happened. Sunnyvale Police Department in California. Okay. Um, basically what happened was I came, this was Sunday, this Sunday that just passed, uh, the 12th of September. I came home, I parked my car, and I went to go check my mail. As I was checking the mail, I started walking uh, towards my apartment. I was about two feet from my apartment, and a police officer started um, yelling at me, saying that I need to sit down. And uh, my brother and my uh, my friend were outside as well. So he started yelling, saying, you guys need to start cursing at me, saying, shut the fuck up, you need to sit the fuck down. Um, and I asked, I turned around, I didn't know that he was talking to me at first. I turned around I, and I asked him, um, what's going on? I don't know. He said, just shut, shut up, just sit down. I need to ask you questions. And uh, at that point, I didn't feel like, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. And I, I told him that I wasn't going to sit down and that um, I told him, officer, I don't know what's going on. I'm two feet away from my apartment. I'm just going to go in because I don't, he said that there was a call about two girls fighting. And there was a description of one girl with a green shirt. I was wearing a white shirt. And the two girls that were actually fighting apparently were in the front of my apartment where I was checking the mail. Mm -hmm. So um, I started explaining to him that, that, you know, I had nothing to do with that. And I, I was actually checking my mail, and I showed him my key. And, um, and he wanted me to sit down. He kept on insisting for me to sit down on the curb and explain to him, you know, he wanted to find out if I was involved or not. I didn't sit down. He, at this point, he twisted my arms, threw me on the ground, slammed my face on the pavement, put his knee in the back of my neck, and put handcuffs on me. When he put his handcuffs on me, I started telling him about I'm a grown woman and that he is embarrassing me in front of my apartment and that um, I didn't do anything and he really needs to find some real criminals to uh, to fight and or to actually talk to the people that were fighting, not me. I didn't even do anything. I was just checking my mail. Mm -hmm. um, he puts me on the side. In front of the apartment, they're, literally they blocked off my whole street, and I'm sitting there crying my eyes out, like literally just crying. I'm wearing these little sh jean shorts and a tank top. I don't even look like I got in a fight. I have hoop earrings in my ears. I actually, like my hair is done, everything, because I was out from, you know, during the day. Mm -hmm. So, uh um, I told I tell him like he really needs to. I was like I'm not going anywhere, so you might as well unbuckle me or uh, you know I handcuff me because I'm not going to run. Obviously, I was like I just don't feel comfortable sitting here when I didn't do anything with handcuffs in my hand. You know my handcuffs. He doesn't do that. He um this, he starts searching me. He starts getting into my pockets, trying to uh, see if I have anything in my pockets. I don't, obviously, and then um, I sit down, and I'm still crying. I'm just, because I'm crying because I can't believe this is happening to me. I just want to go check my mail, and I'm being arrested. I'm being held in handcuffs in front of my apartment with, for doing nothing. He, um, at that point, I'm sitting there for about an hour, for an hour outside, and um, he tells me, he puts me in the back seat of the car. He tells me I'm going to go to jail. And I asked him why, and he said, because you were delaying an officer. So he takes me down to uh, main jail. He books me, and um, I'm out in an, two hours, an hour and a half, two hours, I'm out. And now I have, uh, I have a, that's a good court for delaying, obstructing and delaying an officer. I have a misdemeanor for nothing. Okay. And I have a court date. And you, you, I'm sorry, let me just get rid of this. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry, I was just saying I was going to get rid of that call. And you were doing nothing more than going to get your mail. Yes, I was doing nothing more. That's why I was so, I was in such shock because I didn't do anything. I, I and the people that actually got in a fight didn't go to jail. Nothing happened to anybody. And I'm the one that didn't do anything, wasn't fighting, went to go check my mail. I have witnesses. I have I have plenty of witnesses for this, and I just think this is ridiculous. And I was trying to explain to the cop that just because he has a uniform on mm -hmm. and a badge doesn't mean he could do anything to people. I understand they were doing their job, but if he came to me and said, ma'am, can I talk to you? I just want to know what's going on over here. No, he starts right away. He started yelling at me, telling me that I need to sit down, that I would do it. That, you know, he's cursing at me, just very disrespectful. I felt, you 
know, I'm, I'm terrified now of going outside because I think that if something else happens, I'm going to go to jail. Okay, a couple things. Based on what you've told me, I do think you absolutely have grounds for a complaint. As an expert, what I'm going to tell you is that um, the officer is going to defend himself by saying that you were not cooperating, but I don't think his request was reasonable under the circumstances. Uh, if he's explaining to you that there's a fight or something else going on that does not involve you, you're not wearing the, the same clothing in the description, description supplied to the dispatcher, uh, this could have been cleared up in a matter of seconds. Uh, exactly, exactly. Okay, well, that's what I believe. It doesn't make sense uh, for him to start like some felony investigation. There were no guns involved in this situation, were there? No, oh my gosh, there were just two girls fighting over their baby, their baby daddy. That's exactly what was going on. And you had nothing to do with it? No, I didn't even see them fighting. When I got there, I was checking my mail, and the, the, I just saw the two girls, they were like, one of the girls was like, telling this other girl, she was basically like talking crap to her. So there was you know, no, so there, so there was no imminent threat of anyone getting hurt. There were no weapons no, I involved. Didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. Apparently, there was a fight. The kids outside of my apartment said that there was these girls are fighting. And you know the sad part is, mm. all my, all the people in my, my neighbors, they all saw what happened, and they saw the. I guess they saw the fight before that, even before I got there. And I guess somebody called the police, obviously. Well, let me let me back up a second because this is my point. At the time that he came to you, there was no fight going on, correct? No, no, there was no fight, no. So there was no imminent danger of anyone getting hurt when he came there and, and approached you? Definitely not. No, definitely not. Okay. And like I said, I think you absolutely have grounds for a complaint. What we're going to do is send you a copy of the complaint form you submitted to our office along with the letter. And if you need additional help, we'll be happy to provide it. Obviously, you may need an attorney. Um, and I don't know if you're... I, you know what? I, I called a couple of attorneys, and this is how I feel like this is, there's no justice here, because I called, called a couple of attorneys, and they all told me that, you know, I understand your point, but you should have sat down. I, you know, okay, let me let me just say this, and I don't like to editorialize in my interviews, but I'm going to say this much to you. The attorneys are often worthless in terms of their assistance in, in these sorts of situations. And yeah, I know. That's how I felt. No, I understand exactly how you feel. Frequently, they're telling people to take pleas to things that they didn't do. The attorneys don't want to fight or go to court against the police. And it, le it leaves people like you, unless you have, you know, Rodney King video, you don't have anywhere to go. Exactly. That's what I told him. I said, so do I have to have a broken arm and be dead for you guys to pay attention to the fact that um, I was there was a, a police misconduct? Well, that's where we can help you. Uh, we will deal with the police misconduct end of the situation. So let me take a look at your complaint form. Expect to get it back within a few hours. Uh, sometime later today, and then we will. I, uh, I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was just gonna say that. Can I get your? Um, can I get your information? Can I get your number and other information just in case I have e questions? Ab absolutely. My name is Mr. Kamau, and Mr. that's spelled Kamau, okay. that's spelled K A M A U. And okay. the the office number, which will ring me wherever I am, is eight hundred four seven three. Five zero nine seven. Okay. Okay, and we are. You know what? I'm not. Go ahead. Sorry. We, that's all right. We are going to help you, and I understand your frustration. I can hear it in your voice, but we are going to help you. Do not worry. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, and I'm also actually, I have bruises on my wrist from okay. the handcuffs because they handcuffed me. So I took pictures of it. I need the pictures. And if you can send yeah, me. I will say yes. Send me the pictures. I'll send you pictures. What is your email address? I'll send you the pictures. Okay, it's my last name, Kamau. It's K A M A U. At, uh -huh. uh, at policeabuse.com. dot com. Policeabuse.com. Okay. Yeah, um, and, I will send and, you and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you a little a little task that I need you to complete. I'd like for you to go out there and take pictures of where you were arrested. Okay. You know, where you were standing, where your mailbox is, and if you can give me a picture of yourself, like standing where you were, you know, have a friend of yours or somebody take a picture yeah, of, of you where you, were, where you were contacted by the police. 